Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so before we get started with your reading, I just want to share with you a fascinating website I was recently introduced to that helps you discover how compatible you are in relationships, how others perceive you, and also explains how to fully understand your natal chart through astrology and numerology. There is a ton of information waiting for you on this site to help you better understand love, your path, and to help you improve your life. I got my charts done and it is amazingly accurate and extremely informative. The website is called trulydivine.com and they are offering a 30% off discount for all of my subscribers. All you have to do is use code ZEN30 at checkout to receive your discount. I will provide the link and code in the description box below. So peace and love and happy learning. Now let's get started with your reading. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Virgo Sun Moon Rising. So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into your reading. Guys, guardians, and ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Virgo Sun Moon Rising regarding their love life. Okay, what love messages do we have for Virgo at this time? What does Virgo need to know regarding their love life? What love messages do we have for Virgo? Okay, so we have the Four of Cups here. Somebody is discontent, unhappy in their situation. You know, I get this quite often with you guys. Okay. And the next card is Knight of Wands. Okay, so this is, you could be um, unhappy with somebody that's in and out of your life. You may be in and out of someone's life because you're not happy with the situation, but like there's still um, love there. So like you're in and out. It could be also like um, mentally in and out of the relationship. So if this is like a long-term relationship that you're in, like you're there, but you, you ever have somebody that's physically there, but like they're just not like mentally there. Like you can tell their their mind is somewhere else, so to speak. So I feel because you're not fully happy or content with the relationship, you're kind of like in and out. Okay, let's see. One more card for Virgo regarding their love life, please. Okay, and then we have the Empress. Okay, so I feel that this person you are with, this is, this is a personal issue that you have, Virgo. And if this is not your energy, then this could be how they feel about you. You know the person that you're with is like the full picture. Um, they have the whole package, but for whatever reason, you guys are all, you know, on a different path, your relationships are different and whatever reasons you are just in and out of this relationship. Sometimes, you know, you may even wander. All right, let's see what's going on here. So that's how you're feeling. That's how they're feeling. Can you give us some more details for Virgo? Like what's going to come? of this situation. Are you going to snap out of this feeling? Is something going to change? You're going to leave? Can you give us some more messages for Virgo, please. Okay. Okay, so we have here the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Yeah, so I feel here this is a, a one-sided relationship. Somebody is being a little bit um, self-absorbed here. Now, again, you may not realize this is how you're coming off um, and that's why you're discontent in this relationship or this may be how you view the other person or how they view you. Okay, then we have the Phoenix here. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. Okay, so there will be growth here. So something is going to happen. You may have some kind of epiphany where, you know, you'll suddenly see this person as the full package and then you're going to snap out of it. And then that's when you're going to have this changed mind, this transformation, and you're going to see them through new eyes and it's going to rekindle this relationship and move you to a new phase of it. So that's beautiful. All right, so let's see. What else do we have here for you, Virgo? Yeah, so whatever it is that you guys need to work out within yourselves to view this person from a better perspective, that will help you transform this relationship. You have to also take a look at yourself. 
what is making you unhappy? Like, is it something you, your expectations are not realistic? You know, like, what is it that's causing you to feel discontent and unhappy? Okay, last shuffle. Any other messages for Virgo? Okay. All right. All right, so you have to deal with some emotional healing here. So I'm feeling whatever it is, maybe it's something from your past, if you had a past relationship, or maybe um, it stems from your childhood. If your parents didn't have a good marriage or relationship, then maybe that's reflecting onto you. But you have some emotional healing that you need to resolve here. And that's what's causing this conflict. You may have even had some emotional con conflict, excuse me, with this person in the past and you haven't let it go yet. But... You have this expanded awareness, which is right here with the phoenix. Okay, so these two are giving you the same message. You're going to have this epiphany. You're going to suddenly like have this changed mind, this growth. You're going to learn something that's going to expand your awareness about this person that you're going to see them differently. And then you're going to feel more empowered to have a better connection in this relationship. Okay, inner child. So like I said, this is something that you may have had an emotional issue from your childhood. It could be um, a past relationship, like I said, when you were younger, or it could stem from like your parents having a bad um, relationship. And then we also have animals here. So I'm getting for some of you, you may have resentment towards this person because you may have wanted a pet and... Um, they may have allergies or just simply don't want one. I'm hearing someone may like to travel a lot and they're like, well, there's no time for, you know, a dog or a cat. We have to watch it and this, this and that. And if you grew up with animals, because we have inner child here and animals, if you grew up with animals and you feel like a, a house is not a home unless you have a pet and this person is keeping you from that, you may have a lot of resentment towards them, this conflict, and it's, it really scarred you emotionally. And you may not have even realized how much that that's why you feel like in and out of this relationship, discontent with this person. I mean, you'd be surprised how something that you think is a little thing is actually a big thing, okay? So let's see. What other messages do we have for you, Virgo, regarding your love life and this reading? got a few cards here let's see we have acceptance yeah this is something that you have not accepted there's something here in this relationship that has occurred that you have not accepted you may have thought you did but you didn't tolerance yeah you're just tolerating this person because you have not accepted everything that you need to accept vision so you still have a certain vision of what you want and you feel this person is not giving it to you so again it could be a whole thing with this pet Humility. You have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same, but on different paths. This is all connected. This all coincides with one another. I love this. Okay, so what advice do we have for you? Let's see. What advice do we have for Virgo? So I know you have to try and do this emotional healing. You have to resolve this. You have to speak to this person. Whatever it is, the heart of the situation here, you have to communicate with this person. And I feel once you communicate with them, that's when you will then see them as the empress. Male or female doesn't matter. It's a, a general reading, not a private reading, so it's not gender specific. If you'd like details for yourself, please go to zenwithinme.com and you can purchase a private reading. Okay. So let's see. Again, hold your vision. So we have another vision here. Fixed moon. Step out of your comfort zone. North node. So it may be easier for you to just be quiet and not say anything. And like, yeah, we're two different people. It is what it is. I'm just going to leave it alone. Blah, blah, blah. Step out of your comfort zone. Okay? We're here. Work through your fears. Okay? New moon in Scorpio. So you may be dealing with a Scorpio, or this is a timeless reading. Look to see when is new moon in Scorpio, um, or it may simply be the next new moon phase. Work through your fears, and it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. So we have Scorpio showing up here 
again. Okay, Scorpio is also um, October, November, I believe. So that could also be uh, timing. We have full moon in Scorpio, new moon in Scorpio. So either the new moon or the full moon, you may be dealing with the Scorpio, could be the time of Scorpio. Just check to see when that is or just simply the messages are what's relevant to you um, as regarding your reading. Okay, so let's see what messages do we have for you from the spirit animals. Since we have animals that came out here, let's see what animals want to communicate with you. Okay. And these, by the way, these cards are animals and your archangels. Message, owl. Listen to the messages of the angels. Archangel Bokpi. Okay. All of these are messages from your guides, your guardians, your ancestors, your angels, ancient gods. It's all coming through. Okay. Thank you. What else do we have here? Butterfly. Be ready to transform with wisdom. Archangel Premanelec. We have transformation here with the phoenix, remember? So there's definitely a transformation here. Expanded awareness. Listen to the messages. Shark. Lead as a powerful, peaceful warrior. Archangels Metatron and Jolet. And the last message. Horse. Care for others and let them be free. Archangels Mary and Christiel. So yeah, here where it says self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing, you might be too, um, too on top of this person or they may be too on top of you. You may feel like you're not free to, you know, come and go as you please, say and do what you want, you know, however it resonates with you. So that might be something that says care for others and let them be free. You may need to let them know, hey, you, you got to ease up on me. You know, if that's something that's going on in your situation. Okay, so let's see. What door does the universe want you to go through at this time, Virgo? Let's see. What door does the universe want you to go through at this time? Okay, thank you. Okay, here is your beautiful blue door with the little pentagram up there. And we have the art of life. There's no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life. Be bold in your skin. Let your love dance in sight. Okay, so again, work through your fears. Step out of your comfort zone, okay? This is more of the same message that's coming through. Okay, now let's go and get one card from the unicorn deck for you. Let's see, what other messages do we have for Virgo regarding their love life? Okay, let's see, what do we have for Virgo? Last shuffle, any messages for Virgo? So we got, we got a few there. Let's see. We have rainbow. There is a rainbow beyond the clouds. So things may seem a little cloudy now, but there's a rainbow. Future. Let go of the past and move forward. Okay, we have some past situations that we discussed here. And the last one, birth. Be receptive to a new idea, child, or situation. All right, beautiful. So those are your messages, Virgo. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Check my description box down below. Peace and love, and I will see you in the next reading.